My name is Anthony Walker, I'm CEO of Decipher. The Investor Mining and Tailing Safety Initiative was established and chaired by the Church of England Pensions Board and the Swedish Council of Ethics of AP Funds. This was following the recent TSF failures and a group of investors representing more than about 13 trillion assets under management decided to act as an independent watchdog making a call for a new global TSF management standard and requested 727 extractive mining companies to disclose information in relation to their TSF facilities in the form of an online disclosure database and basically an investor register. In response to the call for a global standard, the International Council of Mining and Metals, RCMM, the Principles for Responsible Investment and the United Nations Environmental Programme, or UNEP, has announced that they are reviewing with a draft standard released recently. It's quite interesting that 100% of the RCMM companies disclosed information. I think that's pretty, uh, a pretty telling uh, number. On the one year anniversary of Brimaldino's tailings dam failure, which took 250 people's lives, the world's first publicly accessible global database on tailings dams was launched. This database now brings about a new level of transparency to the mining industry, allowing public, regulators, institutional investors, researchers and local communities to view detailed information on more than 1,700 dams. This is categorized by location, by company, by dam type, by height, by volume, by risk, uh, in amongst a whole number of factors. I think it's a great integration of information that can start us on a journey to, to really understanding tailing facilities and involving a high degree of research that is currently underway and that is getting geared up to be underway very, very soon. So this presented mining companies with a large challenge. One company that we've spoken to has estimated that it took about six weeks for one person to pull this information together, look at the format of the information, verify it, and get it into a format that it can be disclosed and reported. So multiply that out by the number of facilities that companies could be operating. Um, and you get a very large number. So this has meant that mining companies need to concentrate on where the data comes from, is it correct, who needs to approve it for release, and is that data 100% accurate. That takes a lot of effort and a lot of concentration and is quite risky for those businesses. In order to mitigate that risk, um, we can start putting tools together that help collate that information and provide it in a format that can be easily ingested by things like the COE disclosure database and data portal. We find that um, these operations, um, whilst the data is stored and is inaccurate, putting it together in relation to the 69 questions that were asked um, is often not done. Um, so it was about uh, bringing that together um, and, and getting multiple different people to look at it and verify it. So that, that, was, a, that was a key challenge in this, in this process. A lot of companies' operations are not concentrated in, in one location, um, so they operate around the world. There's multiple languages, there's multiple time zones. So just the efficiency of being able to ask and receive that information and, and, and look over it is, is a massive challenge. Sometimes that information needed to be translated back into English because that was the reporting standard. Um, so just making sure that was done accurately and correctly and reflected what are often quite technical questions uh, appropriately. Preparation for the next round um, is obviously about looking at the data points that were collected last time, making sure that information is up to date and accurate, easily available in the right format. Getting that in a consistent uh, electronic format uh, will make it a massive difference and then understanding when those dates are and, and getting the data back uh, timelessly um, and that involves making sure that the sign-offs are done uh, uh, at the right time. We see that using Decipher uh, can have a role in that. You are easily able to see what was reported last time and update that information. You can version your information so you can see what the report was last time in relation to what it is for this time uh, of disclosure. Because the information is electronic, it is easily able to be transported to the uh, reporting portal. In terms of preparation, um, I think something that would really help is operations thinking about how they want to report this. So physically conceptualizing what those reports would look like internally and externally, compare apples with apples and get that information out quickly. The spatial component within tailing storage facility monitoring and, and reporting can't be underestimated. We've seen examples of assets that have owned tailings dams over time. They've reported uh, those 
uh, jointly. Just having that information available on a map is a good step in understanding um, what you're going to report, when you're going to report and how you're going to report on it.